Welcome students. Today we are going to study active English. Okay. So in active English we just only going to study the chapters which will be come in our essay one. So the chapter which will come in our essay one is chapter number two. Chapter number two and the name of the chapter is all. So basically first I am going to tell you that all. What is the use of all? If I would say would you like to take tea or coffee? If I have to choose one thing from the two things, then I'll have to use or. Okay. When I have to choose one thing from two things, then only I have to, I have to use or. Okay. Or like, will you take a pencil or an eraser? Will you take a pencil or an eraser? Okay. So, for the choice between the two things, we are using or. Okay. We are using or. So, now see on your page number 16 of Active English. Open the page number 16 of Active English. There is chapter number 2. Open your books fast. There is chapter number 2. Okay. So, this chapter is about or. Here are some examples of all okay and here is also the answers so i am going to read you just have to listen to me very carefully and understand about this topic okay so our first sentence is our first sentence is is this tea or coffee is this tea or coffee so there is a choice between tea or coffee so here we have to give the answer what it is in the box. It is written coffee. So, the answer is it is coffee. So, the answer is it is coffee. Okay. So, the next is is this the top of the blackboard or the bottom? Is this the top of the blackboard or bottom? So, see this arrow. This arrow shows what? Top or bottom? So, there is a choice between the two things. Between the top of the blackboard or the bottom of the blackboard. So, here is one arrow which shows that what? It is the top. It is the top of blackboard. It is the top of the blackboard. Here it is written. It is the top of the blackboard. So, this, so this or is used for the, for the choice between any two things. Okay. Now, see the third one. See the third one. Is this the back of the book or the front? Is this the back of the book or the front? Okay. So, there is the there is a question between the two things. Is this the back of the book or the front? So, what it is, it, this arrow shows that it is the front of the book. So, the answer is it is the front of the book. It is the front of the book. Okay. Now, see the fourth one. Is this an ankle or a knee? So, here is the question about is this an ankle or a knee? So, what this arrow shows, this is a, this is an ankle. So, it is an ankle. What, what is the answer? It is an ankle. Now, see the fifth one. Is the glass full or empty? Is the glass full or empty? So, now the choice between the two full or empty. Okay. So, what it is? The answer will, will be it is full. It is full. Okay. Now, see the next. Six. Is this some easy or hard? Is this some easy or hard? Okay. So, there is a choice between easy and hard. So, what it is? It is easy or hard? What which you shown in the picture? It is hard. It is hard. Okay. Now see the seventh one. Is the shirt wet or dry? Is the shirt wet or dry? This is the shirt. See in your books. In the picture there is a green shirt. Okay. Is the shirt wet or dry? Does it wet or dry? These droplets shows that there is a water in the shirt. So it is wet. So the answer will be it is wet. It is wet. So this is the use of or. This is the use of or. Okay. Now see on the next page. 
यू हैव टू रीड दिस अलाउड यू जस्ट हैव टू रीड दीज साउंड वर्ड्स अलाउड सो द फर्स्ट साउंड वर्ड इज ऑफ ए द फर्स्ट वर्ड साउंड वर्ड इज ए सो फर्स्ट वर्ड इज हैंड रीड विद मी हैंड रीड विद मी हैंड नेक्स्ट इज मैन एम ए एन मैन एम ए एन मैन नेक्स्ट इज एम ए टी सी एच ई एस मैचेज एम ए टी सी एच मैचेज नेक्स्ट इज पी ए एन पैन पी ए एन पैन दीज आर द ए साउंड वर्ड्स नाउ सी द ई साउंड वर्ड्स फर्स्ट वन इज एल ई जी लेग एल ई जी लेग रिपीट एल ई जी लेग नेक्स्ट इज नेक एन ई सी के नेक एन ई सी के नेक नेक्स्ट इज पी ई एन पैन पी ई एन पैन पी ई एन पैन नेक्स्ट इज पेंसिल पी ई एन सी आई एल पेंसिल पी ई एन सी आई एल पेंसिल इन ऑल दीज वर्ड देर इज अ साउंड ई ओके नेक्स्ट इज आई साउंड पी आई एन पिन पी आई एन पिन नेक्स्ट इज एस एच आई पी शिप एस एच आई पी शिप नेक्स्ट इज एस टी आई सी के स्टिक एस टी आई सी के स्टिक एंड नेक्स्ट इज टी आई सी के टिक टी आई सी के टिक सो दीज ऑल वर्ड्स हैव द साउंड ऑफ आई नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज ओ साउंड ऑफ ओ पी ओ टी पॉट पी ओ टी पॉट नेक्स्ट इज सी एल ओ सी के क्लॉक सी एल ओ सी के क्लॉक नेक्स्ट इज ओ आर ई एन जी ई ऑरेंज ओ आर ई एन जी ई ऑरेंज एंड नेक्स्ट इज सी ओ डबल एल ए आर कॉलर सी ओ डबल एल ए आर कॉलर ओके सो दीज ऑल वर्ड्स हैव द साउंड ऑफ ओ नाउ सी द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज द साउंड ऑफ यू सो फर्स्ट वर्ड इज टी यू बी टब टी यू बी टब टी यू बी टब नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज एस यू एम सम एस यू एम सम रिपीट आफ्टर मी एस यू एम सम नेक्स्ट इज एस यू एन सन एस यू एन सन एस यू एन सन नेक्स्ट इज टी एच यू एम बी थम टी एच यू एम बी थम टी एच यू एम बी थम सो दीज आर द साउंड वर्ड्स एंड डिड यू नोटिस दीज ऑल वर्ड्स आर वॉवल्स दीज ऑल वर्ड्स आर वॉवल्स ए ई आई ओ यू आर आर वॉवल्स दीज आर ऑल आर वॉवल्स ओके सो दीज आर ओनली द साउंड नाउ सी योर रिविजन सी योर रिविजन इन दिस रिविजन यू हैव टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट इज इज आइस कोल्ड और हॉट इज आइस कोल्ड और हॉट इट इज कोल्ड इट इज कोल्ड Is water wet or dry? Is wet water wet or dry? It is dry. Next is is a horse strong or weak? Is a horse strong or weak? It is strong. Next is is walking easy or hard? Is walking easy or hard? It is easy. Next is is a pen small or big? Is a pen small or big? It is small. Next is. Is a page of the book is thin or thick? Is a page of a book thin or thick? It is thin. Now see the next question. Put in is or are. You have to put is or are in these blanks. So are is used for the plurals and is is used for the singular. Okay. Is is used for the singulars and are is used for the plurals. So first one is ice is cold but fire dash hot. so here is only talk about fire there are not fires so we use is here is here we are talking about only singulars second is trees are big but matches are small so here we use the word matches so it does it has s s at last that means so many matches are here so we are using r for plurals next is third one horses horses dash strong but kittens dash weak so horses and kittens have s that means they are plural so we use r here fourth is v dash boys but they are dash girls so v are used for so many people and they are also used for so many people so we use r here because it is plural next is collars dash around but ties dash not so here s is used with the collars and with ties also so we use r here because collars and ties are plurals next six is 
dash a uh, blackboard white or black so here we use is because it is singular next is dash milk black or white so the answer would be in dashes is okay next eighth is dash matches big or small so here also we are using it for only singular sentences so it is is next is dash a uh, year short or long so here also we use here also we use is okay next is dash apples red or blue so here we also use there is a color which is in singular so we use is here now the next is answer the questions are you writing with a pen or a pencil so the answer would be see here the answer would be this one first i am writing with a pencil i am writing with a pencil now second is is this the shop of a page or the bottom is this the top of the page or the bottom so the answer is it is the bottom of the page it is the bottom of the page okay so this is your revision i will send this revision on your groups also so that you can easily write in your books okay hope this topic will be clear to you now see the next one more topic here next topic is chapter 4 me you him her it us them so here we have to use me you him her it us or them okay so with this what we have to do i am going to show you open your chapter number 4 me you him her it us them me you him her it us them so here i am helping you i am helping you when i have talked to when i talk about myself then i have to use i then you are helping me if i am saying about you then i have to use you next is i am helping maya i am helping maya so here i am talking about myself next is i am helping her so see here for girls we use her so here the name of the girl is maya here the name of the girl is maya so for maya is a girl we use her if it would be a boy like next is i am helping prem so we use him him is used for boys so i am helping him i am helping him when i talk about any girl i use her and when i talk about any boy i have to use him so next is i am i am carrying a kitten i am carrying a kitten whenever we talk about any animal we use it we use it for animals we use it for animals so here kitten is an animal so i am carrying a kitten so the so f uh, f uh, in place of kitten we use i am carrying it okay now see these dialogues these are the dialogues listen to me children i am teaching you listen to me children i am teaching you next is you his uh, i is used for the teacher here teacher is talking about herself and talking to whom talking to children so here you is uh, you is used for the children so the answer of the children is yes you are teaching us yes you are teaching us so here you is used for the teacher by students and us is used for students now next dialogue is i am teaching the children i am teaching the children i am teaching them here for in the first sentence teacher is talking about the children but in the next sentence beside saying children she refers children by them because children are used for the plural that means there are so many so for so many people we use them for so many people we use them okay so i am recalling one more time when i say about about myself i use i and me when i say about yourself then you are uh, uh, when i have to say about you so you have to i have to use you when i say about any girl i have to use her and when i have to say anything about any boy besides using his his her name i have to use him okay and whenever i have to talk about any animal besides using the particular animal again and again i have to use it i can use it okay and whenever i am talking about so many people then i then only i use 
them beside using the word again and again okay so hope it is clear now see the next how many sentences can you make he she is is helping pointing to carrying me okay he is helping me she is helping me again she is pointing to him he is pointing to him he is carrying her he is carrying her so in this way you have to make the sentences with these word these this is your oral activity you have to perform this activity at your home and next is read aloud you have to read this ea sound words here are the sound is ea so read these ea sound words with me like ear 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 s e a c s e a t seat t e a t h e a r here R E A D read E E A E A S E Y E Z E A T eat N E A R near S P E A K speak T E A C H teach C L E A N clean H E A D head B R E A D bread B R E A K F A S T breakfast P E A R peer these all are sound these all words contains the sound of E A okay. now see your division choose the right word you have to just choose the right word this is prem i am touching so prem is the name of a boy so for boy we use him so tick on him second is miss pradhan is talking miss pradhan is talking okay so the children are listening to so miss pradhan is a girl so we use her for miss pradhan so tick on the her second answer is her now see the third one don't open the door don't open the door close so door is a thing so for thing and animals we use it so tick on it so the answer of the third is it now see the fourth the boys are listening she is talking to so here we are uh, saying about a group of boys or so many boys so for the, for boys we use them so the answer is them fourth answer is them now see the fifth we are listening to the teacher she is talking to if i am saying about the teacher and she is talking to for teacher teacher is talking to us that means for it is used for us so the answer of the fifth is us now the sixth one i am talking to the kitten i am talking to the kitten it is listening to me of course when i when i used i then it is talking to also to me na so we have to tick me so the answer of the sixth is me so this is all about our active english in this video thank you so much and study well at your home and stay safe